Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy and this is Chatty Kathy Budgets. On this channel, we will be doing weekly paycheck budgets, cash envelope stuffing, savings challenges to pay off our debt, and occasionally we may have a cash condensing or a prop swap video. If that is something that you are interested in, please stick around. Feel free to go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's get right into it. Today, we are budgeting our second paycheck of January. My husband and I get paid weekly. That's why we will be doing weekly paychecks. We budget by paycheck so that we can save as much money as we can to pay off as much debt as we possibly can. Um, if you are interested, please feel free. I will link it in the description below to go ahead and watch our debt confession video. Um, this planner is what I'm going to be using today. I got this off Amazon, uh, but it is created by Celeste over at Beautifully Me and You here on YouTube. So I will link her channel in the description box below as well. So I'm gonna open it right up here and I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see better, okay? <clears throat> so we're gonna start with our income. I'm gonna pull this. There we go. I'm sorry that I have to turn it a little bit here, guys. All right, so my paycheck was $983, okay? And hubby's paycheck was $712. Okay, so that gives us $16.95 to work with. That's our total income for this week. All right, so bills. If you saw my how to create your first budget video, we are far enough ahead on our bills that we can take the full amount, divide it by four, and that's the amount we're saving each week. So it pretty much is very close to what my paycheck is. So we're just gonna leave my entire paycheck in there towards our bills that are coming up. And I can show you how we work that, okay? So this is our calendar view. I have all of our bills written out. They are a little color coded because I do have some annual bills that come out this month. Um, but going into this month, we had pretty much one of my full paychecks remaining. So only my car payment and this credit card payment came out of that check. That does not equal the $983, but we leave it in there and roll it into the next week. So same with this first pay week of January. 983 in there, but only, well, whatever was remaining. So this was 367 and 173. So for easy math, we can round up and say 473, we can even go up to 500, right? That would still leave 483 in there. And then we would add an additional 983. And then these bills come out and so on and so forth, right? Because these don't equal the full $983. And then today we get another $983. So that is kind of how we worked it out. Um, also, if you saw my very first video, which was us unstuffing the 100 envelope challenge, you will see that we put a $1,000 buffer into our checking account to also help with just being able to do the same dollar amount um, every pay period so that we didn't have to scramble to try to figure out, is that gonna be enough for this week? Cause the week that our mortgage comes out is, it's a bill heavy week. So we do do uh, our mortgage a little bit differently. I don't pay it on the first of the month, I pay it on the 15th. Um, we have a grace period until the 16th. And when we first got the house, I was paid the first and the 15th of every month I was not paid weekly so it just worked out easier to pay it on the 15th 
We have paid it on the 15th consistently for many, many years, so our bank is totally fine with that. All right. That was a lengthy explanation. Sorry, guys. This is Chatty Cathy Budgets, right? <laughs> All right. So moving on. Okay. So this is our, we know our total is 983. So then remaining, obviously, is the 712. Okay. You see. There we go. So now our cash envelopes. This is our wallet. This is our weekly spending. Um, this is what we put in our wallets every single week. So hubby gets $80. That's for his gas and anything else that he might need throughout the week, okay? Groceries, we're gonna do 150. Gas, we're gonna do 60. Kids, this is for their weekly allowance. We have two children, they each get $10 a week. So $20 going into kids. Scripts, this is any prescriptions or over-the-counter medicine that we might need. $5 going into that. And then pets, we do have a cat, so we do budget um, we don't have to buy her food or litter every single week, but I do budget for it weekly so that when I do have to purchase it, I have enough for it. So $5 going into there. So that equals $320. And if we take that out of the 712, that would give us $392 left. I already did the math guys so that <laughs> as you know I have calculator issues on this channel <laughs> all right so moving on to our sinking funds if you are new here a sinking fund is basically a little savings account what we do um, in this cash envelope budgeting world is we actually pull the cash out of the bank stuff it into our envelope so that we are less likely to spend it and we save it up for certain categories okay so our categories and i'm going to fill these out so i'll just fast forward through that real fast for you guys Okay, I'm actually going to unfold this so it's a little easier to read the There we go. Okay, so household, if you've been with me a little bit, our last budget with me, my husband's paycheck was a little bit more. So this week, I'm only going to give $5 to household clothes, beauty, family fun, and kiddos. Okay, so five going in for all of these. Okay, and then winter oil is going to get its normal 40. Annual bills, 20. Quarterly bills, we're gonna do 30. Birthdays and anniversaries, we're gonna do 25. Holidays, we're gonna do 20. School, we're gonna do 20 as well. Vehicles, we're going to do 15. Vet, we're going to do 10. And Christmas, we're going to do 30. Now, Christmas, this is saving up um, for Christmas in 2024. Uh, vet, this is, we're pretty much saving up for any yearly vet appointments um, or, God forbid, there's some type of vet emergency. And then vehicles, this is primarily for us um taxes and registration right now so we are on a debt-free journey <clears throat> so we are just doing <clears throat> the essentials right now we're not saving up for um basically any wants right we're focusing mostly on needs now yeah birthdays holidays that can all be considered wants but 
you know, we still have to live life and enjoy our life, right? So we're still going to budget for it. It's a very reasonable budget. Um, and it still gives us money towards paying off our debt. So these total uh, $235, okay, which gives us $157 left. And what we are going to do with that is we are going to put it into our challenges, okay? And at the end of the month, whatever challenges we finish, we are going to make one very large debt payment, okay? So that brings us to zero dollars. So that is a zero-based budget, okay? Does not mean we are running our checking account down to zero. Um, it just means every dollar that's coming in, we gave it a job. It's spoken for, we know where it is, where it's going, and what it's going to be doing. Um, I'm actually going to fill my denominations out off camera. Um, if that's something you do want to see in the future, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. Uh, but that's the basics of how we do our budget. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like what you saw, feel free to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know how I did. Uh, stay tuned. Our next video coming up will be cash stuffing our uh, wallet and some cash envelopes. And after that, we will also do a sinking funds video. And then over the weekend, we should be doing our savings challenge video, which those are the most fun. Um, and hopefully my children will be joining me to do those ones again. So I hope you all have a fabulous day and a wonderful weekend. Thank you so very much for watching. Happy budgeting. Bye.